Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of types of security. So basically, even security can be divided into multiple types, guys. So one could be information security, computer security, network security, internet security. Okay. So firstly, let us go through information security, guys. Okay. So the process of protecting information is called as information security. So here, what you are securing, guys, you are securing the information. So whatever you are sharing, whatever you are sending to your friend, whatever you are informing to your parents or someone, you are protecting that information because that is important or crucial for you. So that concept is nothing but information security. Guys, we'll be going through the book definition in our next lecture. Don't worry. I'll be dedicating a complete lecture for just giving you the definition, guys. Don't worry about that. Okay. Yes. So mainly information security provides the availability, privacy and integrity. So you need to have the privacy, you need to have the integrity and you will be having the availability. Guys, we'll be discussing about these terms also. Don't worry about them. Okay. Yes. Similarly, the second type is computer security. Okay, so computer security, I hope everyone knows, right? Yes. So whenever you turn on your computer in your, even in your laboratories, they'll be keeping some password protection. Even everyone knows the password is your college name or student123 or something, right? Yes. But they keep it because they want to keep their systems in a secured way from unknown people, right? Yes. So that is the reason why you will be using computer security. So even in our homes, we'll be keeping, right? So in our homes, we'll be keeping some reasonable passwords because we are the only users, right? Yes. So computer security is the ability of a system to protect its information and system resources with respect to confidentiality and integrity. So here we use passwords mainly. Even they will, few, will, few will be zipping their files into passwordable open and password locks and there are multiple applications through which you can keep passwords or folders also. Even that is possible. So in that way you will be securing your computer. Similarly when it comes to networking, so network security. So in network what will be the issues guys? So there could be some kind of a virus attacks or hackers or threats and all those things, right? So we'll be securing from them. So what we'll be using here, we'll be using firewalls, antivirus softwares and any kind of virtual private net networks and all those things, right? Yes. So the efficient network security strategies require the identification of threats and then crossing effective set of tools to protect them. Like they will be using the tools like antivirus softwares, firewalls and virtual private networks. Guys, we'll be discussing about firewalls and virtual networks, I think in around third or fourth, or sorry, second or third unit, guys. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay. Okay. So let us continue. So the next type is nothing but internet security, guys. Okay. So internet, I hope everyone knows about internet security, right? So whenever you visit a website, you'll be checking whether it is secured or not. HTTPS or HTTP, guys. Right? So that's the things that you will be checking and even you, we are using some VPNs and all those things, right? Yes. So internet security refers to the security or securing the system from the malicious people and securing any operation over the internet. So whatever you are doing, you are trying to make it in you know, a secured way. Okay. Yes. So if you just to draw an example, it will be in this way, guys. So basically information security is nothing but it is a combination of all the things, guys. Right. Yes. Okay. So. In information security, we will be using encryption, backups and access controls. Okay. Similarly, here we will be in system security, we will be using host IDs and antiviruses. In network security, we will be using firewalls, VPNs and proxy servers. And in internet security, we will be using all the above. Right? Yes. So in this way, it will be working. So I hope everyone got some basic idea. Right? Yes. So in the next lecture, let us go through the concept of information security. And first, in the next lecture, we are discussing why internet security, sorry, information, sorry, information security, why we need to do information security. What is the need? The, everything we'll be discussing in the next lecture guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching